Nigeria has engaged many countries, including the UK, US, France and others, in hopes of recovering looted funds. Yes, indeed, and negotiations with some of these countries have paid off. Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has confirmed that Nigeria received $370 million Abacha loot from Swiss authorities. But that's not all, as developments on the Abacha loot hints that the country could come into another cash windfall. Malami met with the top government officials of the United Kingdom, United States of America and Jersey in London to review a memorandum of understanding that could see the return of $500 million to Nigeria. Mm. And after his meeting in London, Malami uh, proceeded for another round of talks with Switzerland to begin negotiations for another undisclosed Abacha loot repatriation. Late head of state, General Sani Abacha, during the period of his reign from 1993 to 1998, stashed away huge sums of money in different foreign banks. Estimates of the funds stolen by the former leader, a very but a commonly touted figure, is $5 billion. Well, many people uh, believe that the loot from the country's coffers uh, is far more than the figures being banded around. The World Bank even described the loot as too much to handle. <laughs> Now, if the World Bank cannot handle the billions <laughs> that are allegedly uh, stolen from Nigeria, who can? Who can? That, who that's, can? That, that, that's the issue. Right. But, it, but it, it goes a long way to tell you that the mm. amount is big. Humongous. Mm. Mm. Well, we have in the studio the Executive Director of Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project, Adetokumbo Mumuni. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Good, Good to morning. see you. Good nice morning. to see you. Uh, yeah. Dr. Danny Kere, thank you so much for staying with us, of course. Thank you. I just wish some of the dollars <laughs> would pass through the television down here. Ah! <laughs> then you would be an accomplice. Exactly. <laughs> and what we're trying to yeah. change is that <laughs> it, it, willingness it, it, to, it to take part in corruption yeah in those money so if, 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 if the money gets here and i'm mm. part of it then they will, as far as the money has come and nigerians will use it all nigerians are part of it <laughs> if you okay. not not, not, uh, not nigerians will be part of it not mm. through the pocket i mean whichever way not through the pocket because <laughs> that is what we're complaining about <laughs> yeah. it, it looks like we've all been stained one way or another by this uh, corruption yeah would you say Let, let's start from that because you know a, a lot of people critics analysts have said the way we're pursuing um this war against corruption is really not how to do it that how wh why don't we plug the the loopholes that allow for this to happen because really corruption truly again is not just stealing public uh, funds and, and what have you well, let's take it off from this abacha loot that seems to be endless. Now, the point I want to make is this. It will, because of what we have been hearing for the past, since the, even before, even during Obas Obasanjo's regime mm -hmm. and up till now. Yes. So it will, be, it will not be correct mm -hmm. for the president to, in a manner of speaking, attempt to deify abacha. Because when he use a batabasha comes up, the president Buhari will say, uh, I think he was he was trying to compare what Abasha did well, in terms of infrastructure mm -hmm. when he was around yes. and what some subsequent people did mm -hmm. after he had left. But mm -hmm. that is not the issue. For him to be saying Abasha is not a rogue mm -hmm. uh, pales into insignificance now. Because if nothing was stolen from the Nigerian Treasury, there will be no meeting with the officials of the U.S. government. Mm -hmm. There will be no meeting with official, officials of the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. There will be no meeting with um, the Swiss, Swiss government, government. Yes. and, the rest, and of the rest of them. So the point is clear. Abacha stole from Nigerian treasury. Unless, of course, we're saying Abacha loot has become a generic name. Exactly. But, but, but specifically, those are the money stashed away by Abacha in those foreign countries. Now, that haven't been said. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the, the question to me is uh, recovery is very very important yeah but i want to see the recovered sum used and spent on matters that will affect the life of average nigerians mm. uh, the, the the idea of stolen well being restolen should not come in again and that was why my organization went to court to ask for a declaration that 
the, the present government should come and tell us how much was recovered from loot generally, not Abacha loot now. Because mm -hmm. what we have heard is not is that it is not only Abacha that stole, mm -hmm. a lot of people stole. The, the, the court granted the order mm -hmm. that what had been recovered must be stated, the amount from whom, under what circumstance. Mm -hmm. So that Nigeria will have a holistic picture of all this stealing. Mm -hmm. And Nigerians will now be able to monitor the mm -hmm. way the, the thing is spent. Yes. But, but, let, but let me stay with you before we come to uh, Dr. Ikera here. Now, now the point there is, it, it seems from the way the figures are thrown to the press and all of that, it seems there is no actual knowledge of how much mm. is involved as to how much was stolen. So we know, okay, now that we, we are repatriating about 500, there's a MOU to say yeah. to, rep to return or repatriate 500 uh, million dollars. In addition how, to the 322 in, in million. Yes. How much is left somewhere and where are they and all of that? And that, that was the basis for our going to court. Okay. Because we want to ensure that no prank is played along the line in this recovery mm. issue. So we want to know specifically because we have always contended that um, it's like the government handles this recovery issue in an afasad manner. Mm. There has to be an organized, systematic way of recovering so that as you recover, we have details of what you recovered and how they are spent. Okay. So that we'll be able to know whether this money has spent for the Nigerian people. Mm. Because a lot of things are happening. People say there is no money in the economy, mm. the economy is down. And when you have recession, you have to spend your way out of recession. And when these funds come, opportunity has been given for you to spend your way out of mm. recession. So you have to ensure that those things go into matters that affect the generality of Nigeria. Yes. Matters of infrastructure, matters of hospital, matters of education. That way, Nigerians will feel it better. All right, Dr. Dana Kere, do you, do you agree with uh, Adetokumbo Mumuni when he says there's a need for uh, more uh, transparency? Uh, according to him, th th there seems to be some level of opaqueness in terms yes. of exactly how much really has been stolen from this country. I, th I think. And uh, how much have we recovered so far? Yeah. Where are these monies going into? What projects? Of course, Malami has said that uh, government has identified uh, some projects yes. that the monies will be used for. Yeah. Thank you. I, I want to believe that it will be difficult to ascertain how much was actually stolen. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, I want to say that let the right word, because sometimes there are words that you use that will reduce the, the impact, the effect, the way people will view Or the weight yeah. of, or the gravity yeah, of... You know, uh, mm -hmm. when, you, when, when you say Abacha is a thief, there is a way people perceive of that person. And when you say he looted, you know, <laughs> uh, there, there are two different things, even though they mean the same thing. Call a spade a spade, not a farming uh, implement. Now, yeah. when the poor man goes to the bank, he's borrowing. When the rich man goes, he's taking a loan. Mm. So you, ah. you try to euphemize some of these things to, in order to, you know, to douse the effect. So Abacha is a thief, as established. Let Buhari get that one very yes. clearly, that Abacha was and he's still a thief because but he wasn't well, convicted by any by court any of law we don't so how do we how, how this do we, money, how do you we see, this is enough conviction the fact that what he stole from this country is being repatriated except they are saying that it's not part of what he stole what else do you need here you see that is part of the problem with this evil western system of justice you see a man who is stealing something here yeah? you see a judge who's at home sleeping should be the one to tell you that the man stole before you know he stole that's part of the problem are you getting it he stole it's as simple as that that one is established now having said that i want to feel that uh, whichever way you recover what is stolen from you mm. is important but the process equal is equally important yeah. now part of the challenge we have with this is that since we cannot tell the exact amount that was stolen at least we can tell how much was recovered. Mm -hmm. So how much has been recovered so far? Both the stolen funds that are batch has stashed away and the ones others, you know, took away. One of the challenges was that the government even failed to declare the amount. They equally failed to tell us who and who has returned money. If I am saying that my money is stolen, Mm. You say you didn't steal. All of a sudden, you are returning part of my. You say, okay, <laughs> this is the one that is with me. It shows you actually stole the money. Mm. Or tell us how you got the money. Now, you have failed to tell us all those ones. Now, you have recovered this one. 
How do you spend is another issue. Because at the end of the day, it could go... But let me even ask one pro, uh, question. Mm. Did Abacha, because we know when Abacha was head of state, he never traveled. Mm. Yeah, for all of five years. Yes. How did this money get to these foreign banks? Mm -hmm. How did they get out of the country? So, Abacha is gone quite all right. But they should be able to trace the link. How did this siphon these funds? Through what source? Was it that the children were carrying raw cash? <laughs> You know, just fly abroad and deposit it in any banks in Europe. Or other proxies. Or was it through the banks? Mm. Because the banks have been another major, okay. you know, drain pipe. I think the whole process should equally be followed. Mm. Let's know those who are corporatists. Okay. Uh, uh, let me come to you, uh, Abdul Mumani. The, the point there is, uh, an analyst was saying recently, we, we are just, we are talking about a bacha loot, a bacha loot, a bacha loot because a bacha is no more. Mm -hmm. If he were a living retired general as at now, be talking about nobody would be talking yeah, about all of these things. Obviously. Because the point there is, there are others even also who did then, more the than almost felt. We should not even talk about it. Uh -huh. For fine. To be so <laughs> there, there are there are other generals who 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 maybe may have even done more than what he did, but we're not talking about them because they are alive. But going back to the issue of transparency and openness. Yes. Even when government says we have identified some projects this money should be spent, what is difficult in letting Nigerians know when it comes to, because like you said, it's an opportunity. These monies were not in the budget. Mm. They were not, they, were, they just came. It's like, it's, like, it's like windfall. It's like bonus. Yes. So how involved should Nigerians be in choosing what this money should be so, yeah. used and how it should be used as for what project and where? <clears throat> you see, what I think must happen is that the, gov the government should simply look at projects that is not sectional, mm. that is not based on religion, but that is general mm. to the people of Nigeria. Like what kind of projects? You know, for example, I think we have deficit of infrastructure. Roads mm. are not good all over the country. Mm -hmm. Hospitals are not well stocked all over the country. Um, schools. Schools. Yeah. So those are the things that I think will impact on Nigerians generally. And that to me should be the way to go. Because... But who really should give... I mean, you recall that the Swiss government, for example, actually mm -hmm. gave uh, conditions to release the three uh, twenty-two million dollars that we collected, uh, I think, uh, towards the end of last year, uh, insisting that these monies should be used for developmental or development projects in health and education. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, these funds would not be released. Uh, let it, me re let is there something fundamentally um, wrong with these receiver nations actually de deciding where the monies should go? No, no, I, I think it does not lie in the mouth of, of any government, America, in, um, UK, or mm. Swiss, to dictate to us what we will use the money for. If, this, if Nigerian citizens are doing active citizenship, mm. because we have, we have left those who rule us to believe that their own position is the most important office in Nigeria. To me, the most important office in Nigeria is the offices of the citizens, citizens. of Nigeria. Yeah. It is for citizens to say, this is what we want mm. this government to use the money for. As a matter of fact, when you, when you partake in retaining mm. something that is stolen from another country, you are more or less an accomplice. Mm. You, you, are, you, are, you are somebody that is regarded as... A, 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 an a after, after the fact. Yeah. The right word, the so you <laughs> cannot <laughs> now be dictating to us <laughs> what yeah. must happen to the money. But that don't forget that stealing is not corruption. But this is a serious matter. It is a serious issue. But the point that must be made known to those countries that they don't have a business telling us what to do, mm. giving us conditions for the return of the money. All right. Mm. Now it is important that they release it to us and we have an account of what they have released mm. and we decide what, what we need it for. Uh, Dr. Mm. Kerry, seeing it from that window, the point there is we have heard of the loot being relooted yes. sometime mm. before because this is not the first time, this is not the second or third time that some of mm. these monies are being repatriated. And the countries say, those countries say they want to assist to help Nigeria on how to manage some of these. Now, in the eye of everyone, it looks like these countries 
are helping Nigeria on how to. But they have kept the monies all the while. If you, if you calculate the revenue, the, the uh, interest accruable to these monies for the past 20 or something years, mm. uh, in fact, this is almost going to be like the capital. But, yeah. but we, there, yeah. there's no report as to how, how th these countries are not painted like they've done anything wrong. Rather, they are, they're, just, they're just helping Nigeria, you know, helping African some, countries. So, so, these are some of the things that made Walter Rodney to say that it was Europe that actually yeah. underdeveloped Africa. Africa. Mm. However, oh, Africa agreed to overdevelop then, then, Europe. Then, then, Judge, are you telling me <laughs> so far? He only raised the argument that it is Africans that underdeveloped Africa. Because it's actually not Europe that came and said, take this money from your country's airports and take it to yeah. Soso Bank. Yeah. But the mere fact that they are recipients of these funds and they, they actually embrace it with mm. Warham uh, and you know, use it for developmental projects to fix in their, their own economies. Yeah. Shows that they have this, you know, attitude as well. They, it shows that they are thieves as well. You know, <laughs> now for you to tell us to prove to us that you are actually the person you are claiming to be, you want to help us. What you should do is to prevent, not to receive. Mm. If anybody brings anything to you that is stolen, tell the person, okay, go to the next neighbor. For us to be sure that you really have any form of saintly attitude towards this kind of thing. Not that after receiving and using and benefiting your people, you say you want to help those from who the money is stolen to. What kind of management do you want to do? Yeah, okay. I, I don't think they In the meantime, some $1.25 billion was repatriated under the Ulusha Gumbasanjo administration. And yeah. till date, the World Bank will actually tell you that um, there are, there's nothing on the ground to um, show for this repatriation of funds. So yeah, that is why uh, such bodies like the World Bank or yeah. countries like Switzerland would say, you, we need to know exactly what you, you'll be using these funds for for us to release See, the monies. But then again, that's not even my point. <laughs> yeah, now. The point is, yeah. presently, yes. the World Bank has told the whole world, including Nigerians, that corruption continues under this administration, under this government, which means the, the environment that allows for corruption to thrive has not been tackled. It has not been dealt with. So we're just chasing shadows in this <coughs> war against corruption See, and stolen if, funds. If I may come in. Uh, yes, please. See, there is a perception mm -hmm. that this government has about corruption, particularly the president. For him, corruption is about politicians stealing money. And uh, assuming there are no politicians, mm -hmm. does it mean every other thing that is stolen by other public officers mm -hmm. will not be stealing? And how do politicians steal this money? He has not looked at all of that. You see, co the... corruption is, is, so, is so all embracing that Politicians still is just a very minute, very minute aspect of it. Now, they don't steal without the connivance of the civil service. Mm -hmm. You've not done any form of, re, you know, in, in, any form of uh, what I can call Ref reform in the yeah. civil yeah. service. You've not done anything to overhaul the civil service. They are still part and parcel of it. Ministers are still stealing. Governors are still stealing. And I'm sure that under the presidency too, I don't know, I would say president now because... Uh, he has not, uh, we've not focused on him until he leaves. That is where we will look at mm. what he is up to and all the rest. So, you know, stealing is still going on. But that's not even all. Mm. The World Bank can tell us all of this. The loans that they have been taking from World Bank, did they monitor them to the effect that they were able to, you know, uh, supervise what they were used for? Is mm. it this uh, repatriated funds that are more important to them? Yeah. Yeah. So, they have always been part of this project. They will tell you, oh, you are owing so much. You don't need to take loans. They will be the same person to come and tell you how to obtain loans. Yeah. And they give you loans. They are part of it. What Nigerians should do is that we should take our destiny in our hands. Mm. Let the Nigerian people, the citizens, mm. take it as a responsibility to demand for accountability on any government, mm. irrespective of who is there. And you see, the way the country is structured, we seem not to have, we've not been able to muster the, the, the courage to actually demand accountability on those who are sitting who are, you know, currently in position. Otherwise, so it will be a Luta yes. continua. Yeah. Yeah. Luta with the so we're always focusing on previous <laughs> like, because they are uh, no longer have, in power. Yeah. And now that these ones are there, it is now we should begin to even demand accountability on them. Mm. 
Well, what, when it comes to the issue of uh, accountability, uh, the Tukumbo, or holding a government to account, Nigerians, on the other hand, I wonder if they are, apart from very few agencies like yours and some other few others who are holding government to say, no, we'll go to court to say uh, this shouldn't be like this and this should be like this, how many Nigerians are aware on how to even hold the government accountable? It, <coughs> like I said, the truth of the matter is that Nigerians, in a multitude, mm -hmm. we, we, we always believe that government business is not our concern. Mm -hmm. And that is very, very, that is very, very dangerous. You see, matters in your land. As a matter of fact, those I know of a passage uh, mentioned by the prophet of Islam, he says, the love for your nation is part of religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once you abandon the space, to those who govern you, then you are not a person of considerable faith. W would you want to commend uh, the Attorney General um, Malami, who has, um, according to reports and revelations that came out from this, uh, okay, we need to wrap up, you know, the issue of uh, the uh, foreign lawyer that actually wanted 20% of this uh, as professional fees. Uh, well, he was able to fall back on Nigerian lawyers to yeah, ensure the repatriation of this funds. No, no, I, I, don't that, that I, I, don't think, I don't even be, think it matters of this nature. That should be applauded, but uh, yes, we'll have to yes. leave it there. No, no. We're told we I don't even think it. you should engage foreign lawyers in matters of this nature. Yeah, well, that, that has always that been the case. Expert, yes. Mm. Okay, right. we'll have to leave it, gentlemen. Adetokumbo Mumuni, the Executive uh, Director, Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, and of course, Uni University of Lagos Lecturer. Dr. Danikere, thank you so much, gentlemen, for thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.